Michael. Welcome to this short video that shows first washes on the painting Vivero. In an application like this, uh, I usually start out with a pretty complex sketch because I want to make sure that I can identify those places that I'm going to let the paper white show through. And in this particular case, there's a very high contrast difference between this particular sign that says Vivero and the shadows of those small coffee plants that are in the shade underneath this uh, shelter that's being depicted as this little nursery area. So I'm using brewed Barney's Coffee Kitchen Viennese Roast, which frankly I love for drinking as well. It's got a great flavor. But also when I simmer it down to make the resin for the dark roast watercolors technique, those deep rich browns that I'm able to get are really, I guess, some of the warmest and some of the darkest that I've used to this point. This is what I was talking about. I'm, there's a lot of these little branches that are sticking out of the top of this particular uh, shelter. And knowing that I wanted to make sure I could paint around those, I had done a pretty detailed sketch showing where those branches were. I'll go back in later and actually tone those back a little bit, but I want to make sure that I know where those little branches are as I'm painting the rest of the painting. It also sort of helps set the overall tonal difference between the lights and the darks. As an artist, that's one of the things that uh, is one of your major tools in your toolbox is that difference between the darkest dark and the lightest light that allows you to really build up um, dimension or I guess that 3D, that 3D effect. My wife loves to watch these types of processes because uh, thinking the way that I do from essentially light to dark um, I see the trees in the background and all the other trees that are there. So I see it inside my, my vision, but she likes to watch the fact that it sort of comes out of nothingness. And you'll see that later on, that I'll go back in and lay darker washes now in those shadows, and there's, you'll begin to see some of the other trees that start to show up in that background area. These are the ones that are closest to the foreground, and I'll also go back and tone those back uh, from pure white to more of a lighter lighter brown, lighter sepia tone. Again, painting around some of those thin branches that sort of stick out of the top of that nursery area. So thanks for watching this first video clip of the first washes on Vivero. Here I'm actually showing you from the initial, initial sketch to its current state. There's after the first wash with the uh, sign of Averro in the background. Now uh, you can see that some of the other uh, trees in the background start showing up. A little bit more detail of this area of the corn stalks and uh, bamboo poles. Now you can see in that right corner, there's a lot more trees that are starting to show. But it's got a long way to go yet. So stop back often and check the progress. Well, thanks for watching that short video. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, I'd love to have you follow me on Twitter and Facebook and keep up to date with what paintings I'm working on. Thanks again. See you soon.